Hello everyone. I am James Smith, aka Arcudel, and we are here live with the online writing retreat. Uh, nice to see everybody. Uh, this is our first broadcast for this week. Uh, we're going to get some great writing done this week. Uh, I hope you all join us. Uh, as a recap, uh, what we are, I'm a graduate student with Plymouth State University. Hey, just great. Awesome to have you. So happy you joined us so early. I think Easy Busy's out there too. Thank you for coming to join. Uh, so as a quick recap, I'm a graduate student with Plymouth State University and this writing retreat is my graduate capstone project. Uh, it's kind of like a thesis uh, where my goal is to build an online writing community uh, and to see the viability of that and how far we can take it. Uh, we had some great thing since our launch last week. We joined with Udi Games and a few other streamers to create uh, the Team Zen, which is kind of a creative and very chill stream team, uh, which it's great. We're going to uh, work together a little bit with that. Um, Udi Games is a very uh, constant viewer and participant of this channel, so I hope she comes and joins us tonight. She might not. It's Halloween. Uh, <laughs> so I kind of expect people to uh, filter in as and when they can. All right. So for tonight, let's get a hey, easy busy. Uh, for tonight, let's get a little bit of work done. Let's do a warm up. Uh, last week we worked with the Rory Story Cubes, which you'll see are kind of flipped around this week. Um, got these different dice. I really enjoyed this activity, so I want to try it one more time with you guys. Let me give these a roll. See what we came up with. It looks like... Oh, we came up with some type of uh, dragon, ghost, devil symbol, whatever you want to make of that. Looks like something. We have a fish... And a book of some sort. All right. So with these three topics, and I'll write it over in the chat, a devil, a fish, and a book. Let's take about uh, 15 minutes. I'm not going to bother putting the timer up. I'll let you guys know when we're almost there. Uh, let's take about 15 minutes. Do as much work as we can on that, and come back and we'll share what we did. Alright, I'll be here. You can see me writing over in the corner. So if you have any questions or anything you want to share, say or share, go right ahead and do that. I'll put on a little music for us. If you can't hear the music, let me know. Um, Likewise, if the music bothers you, let me know, or if it's too loud or any problem like that, okay? All right. That being said, sadly, I have to reboot Discord. It did not want to uh, work with me this morning, and then I'll get to writing with you guys. Awesome. 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 Well, I'm happy the music's working this time. Uh, OBS is such a unwieldy beast at times.
Let's, uh, let's grab about another, we'll say, six or seven minutes with this exercise. Um, do what you can with it. If you don't finish, that's okay. Just share what you have. I don't think I'm going to finish with this. I'm definitely not going to finish with this in time. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Just in case uh, I'm muted, so uh, about another six or seven minutes. Just in case anyone uh, muted me because of the music or whatever, um, you can go right ahead and uh, check out the chat. Okay guys, uh, finish up what you're working on, take about another minute to knock down whatever sentence you're on, um, and get ready to share if you have anything. As always, uh, you can share either by pasting over in chat, or you're welcome to hop on my Discord channel, and you're most welcome to come down and join the Writer's Corner, 
where you can share with voice. Uh, I would love to hear what you've managed to write today. Um, it's all up to you, though. And if you're nervous or you're shy, you don't have to share anything. But uh, as long as you did some writing, that's cool in and of itself. Uh, let me swap off the music for now. We'll turn it back on when, uh, when we're writing. I think that's a pretty nice distraction. Uh, that being said, uh, would anybody like to share? Uh, well, you guys get that sorted out. I will share with you my little piece. Um, and if you have something, go ahead, throw it down somewhere I can see it. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, Alexander hated the sea. The way it rolled into waves that swept into his life and pulled everything away. The hungry moans from when storms whipped up in the south, drilling rivulets of rain through the cracks in his roof and onto his sleeping forehead. The stench of decay, of life's empty promise, from whence it came and to whence it would return. His destiny was already scrawled into the foam, written in the mist and the smoke that obscured the morning sun. Yet there, too, lay a chapter that he was not ready to close. An open journal lay on his desk, the w weathered yellow vellum eaten by the salty air and turned as crisp as fried snapper. The ink, though, remained strong and bold against the page. It was his father's journal and was open to a page of particular note, the final entry. Day 17. We've been out to sea nearly three weeks hunting this damnable thing. They say it's attacked ships thrice its size, pulled crewmen overboard and capsized vessels with its mass alone. I've begun to doubt what they've told me. There's no way a fish of such gargantuan proportions exists. Exists. Regardless of what demonic name they've dubbed it, a myth is a myth. And yet, I've seen the broken vessels, Boards splintered by teeth and split as the wailed upon by the hammer of Thor. Something is out there. Fish, demon, monster. It matters little when I spear it through its black and twisted heart. The men are raising a ruckus again. I'd better go see. The journal cut off there. Alexander's father had never returned home. Nor had his brother who had been a crew member on the ship. Or his sister who later ventured out to find the two. Alexander had accepted the monster no, right, no more readily than his father. He understood a different sort of beast, the one that haunted his dreams and gnawed at his insides every time he watched an errant wave break upon the shore, taunting him, replete with the wisdom that, somewhere out there, his family had been lost. All right, that's what I managed with, that, with those three little uh, prompts. How about you guys? What's that? Anything? Easy busy? You want to share? That's okay, just great. Uh, would you Would you care to share what you've got? <laughs> okay, easy busy needs a little bit of time. So, would you care to share? Just great. And it doesn't matter if you got all the three ideas, as long as you're kind of in your mind thinking about the the overall structure. Thank you. I did do a little bit of work on that one we worked on last week, the uh, the one I had written about the goddess of war who couldn't start a war. Um, I did a little bit of extra work on that story. Uh, I'm really hoping that I can develop that into something. I've got so many other writing projects going right now, but it's something that I'm going to save up and uh, use in time. All right, let's see what we got. 
You may not believe this, and you may call me a liar. However, what I'm about to tell you is true, because it happened to me. I've seen a lifetime of suffering, death, and despair. Ooh, strong. I've seen men of all types fall prey to temptation and become venomous demons. I've seen loved ones fade into nothingness. I've seen dreams shattered and hope vanish from existence. I was not always this way, but this is the burden I bear, for I am the keeper of the Tome of Creation. Nice. Very strong beginning, just great. Um, oh, well, I'm going to have to adjust my, uh, my thing up there a little bit later on. Drop it down. That's okay for right now. I totally get that. Especially, it's Halloween weekend. Did you do anything special for the for the Halloween? I'm a little too old now, and uh, I live in Seoul. Um, which There are a lot of foreign celebrations where people dress up and go out, but it's cold, I'm lazy, and I'm old. I decided to stay in and uh, play God Eater all weekend. Which is an awesome game totally worth picking up if uh if you uh like action games and that kind of story awesome i wonder where you'll take this that's okay he's busy go ahead and uh hop on discord That's awesome. I didn't know you were a streamer, too. I'll be sure to uh, drop into your channel. Let me, let me see if I can give you... Uh, I'll give you a quick follow afterwards. That being said, I see Easy Busy working. Do you want to jump on Discord and share? Okay, no, she doesn't. Would you care to post what you what you wrote? Okay, you posted it into Discord? No. <laughs> what do you usually stream just great? You can just uh, post whatever you have easy busy. You don't have to have a f complete story. I'll go ahead and read it for you. That being said, we'll uh, start working towards our next topic as well. Well, she gets her stuff sorted out. Okay, I see what she wrote. She wrote, she doesn't want to share in voice this morning, which is okay. Ah, Dead by Daylight looks like so much fun. I'm cheap, though. I've bought way too many games these days, so I have to uh, tone it down a little bit. But I'll probably pick it up in the future. All right, let's see what she wrote. I'm going to paste it over into Twitch chat so that everybody can see it. All right. Did you know why devils are scared of fish? Once upon a time, there was a traveler... He was reading a book nearby a little stream on the mountain. It was very dark and silent night. There was someone behind him. It was a devil who wants to eat the traveler's soul. He was waiting for the moment to come. Splash! Some strange splash sound came from the stream. What the hell? The traveler got scared and freaked out all of a sudden and ran away. The devil got scared as well, but he was wondering what freaked the traveler out, so he walked nearby where the traveler was. That's a heck of a cliffhanger. What could scare a devil? I'll have to know. Fish! Ah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> you said that right in the beginning. Did you know why devils are scared of fish? 
we'll have to figure that out. <laughs> Interesting. I like the twist. Well done. <laughs> it's a good start, right? Now I have to wonder what kind of fish. Like someone? Yeah, I am not a fan of fish. I don't like seafood. Octopus, octopi are aliens. They're clearly water spiders. They have eight legs. Only one other creature in the world has eight legs. That is a spider. Spiders do not exist in the ocean. Therefore, octopi are water spiders. I will take that to my grave. Okay, let's grab a uh, let's grab a prompt to work in out of my uh, out of my journal. We'll work on this for about twenty minutes. Let me paste it here. Whoops, that's that is me. He's posting easy busies. Let me go back into my journal and try that one more time. So this one is. If you had taken the road more traveled. So a reference to Robert Frost's poem about taking the road less traveled. If you had taken the road more traveled. If you had made different choices in your life. Where do you think you would be right now? Right today? Write a diary entry of that other you's life for today. So if you had, making, if you had chosen some different route in life. If you think about that you, if they wrote a diary entry today, what would they write? I'm very curious. Um, so let's give that about 20 minutes to work on. Uh, I will go ahead and I'll put on some music. I'll let you know when we're about 15 minutes through the activity and we'll, uh, we'll start sharing after that, okay? What'll I put on? Let's put on some uh, Chrono Trigger. Alright. And, as always, if you want to write anything, chat's right over there. I can read it.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
Grab about another uh, five or six minutes. And we'll, uh, we'll put together what, what we've done today. Then we'll share and uh, we'll wrap up the stream for today. Hey Nemo! How are you doing? Oh, thank you for the host. We'll be doing this for just a, a few more minutes. We're going to uh, wrap up this, this piece we're working on, Nemo, and uh, share what, what the few of us who have been working have done. and. Uh, We'll be wrapping up the stream for tonight, but I really appreciate the host anyway. Thank you. Oh yeah? How was work today? I'm doing good. Uh, I taught my first class this morning. I teach at 6.30 in the morning. Can you believe that? Uh, I, had, I had six students this morning. It's, it's amazing that people uh, want to study English at the crack of dawn. It impresses me. Really, really deeply impresses, impresses me. Awesome. You do anything for Halloween? <laughs> nice. And yeah, me too. If I if I were left to my own devices, I would not wake up until about 10 or 11 a.m. every morning. But I get paid to be there. These students pay to come. And then they go to work. They go to their offices or their their schools or whatever they they do with their days. It's amazing. I understand that too, Nemo. I'm 
When I was younger, I was a big Halloween person. I liked to do the costumes and that kind of thing, but... <sighs> I would much rather stay home. Maybe play a scary game or something. I like watching, like, uh, Udi playing uh, Outlast last night was pretty entertaining. I think for uh, for these days, I'm pretty well dedicated to God Eater. The only problem is the stupid controller. I have to restart my entire system every time I want to use that controller. It drives me crazy. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, let's wrap up the uh, the prompt that we've been working on. Let's share what we have. I know, right? She looks completely panicked. I really want to get easy busy and I want to get her to play some scary games with me. Um, her entire life she she lives is kind of frightened as a mouse. It's great. Spooked by her own shadows. <laughs> now she's now she's probably gonna glare at me or stab me with a knife later, but <laughs> Alright. Um, let me turn off the music. Okay. <laughs> she totally does. All right, so the prompt here was, if you had taken the road more traveled, if you had lived a different life, uh, where do you think you would be right now? And write a diary entry of that other used life for today. <laughs> uh, in my case, uh, oh, about eight or nine years ago, I was faced with a very tough choice about whether to um, keep looking for a place where I could become an English teacher uh, overseas or join the military because I was in kind of desperate need for money. Uh, so I'm writing about if I had chosen the other path instead of coming to Korea, uh, where I would be today. So October 31st, 2016. There are days when I regret not becoming a teacher. And by the way, guys, if, if you want to share what you've written, uh, just uh, leave me a note over in chat so that I can plan out some time for you. I, I really want to see what you've written. There are days when I regret not becoming a teacher, yet life is much too short to dwell on those for very long. I am who I am today because of the choices I've made. No less and certainly no greater. We'll be heading into Mosul soon. When I told people that I'd chosen to become a soldier, they thought I was crazy. My sci-fi buddies used the term red shirt, certain that I would be the first to die. I'm made of slightly more resilient stuff than that, though. It's why I became a soldier in the first place. When I graduate from, uh, when I graduated from school, my plan was set and awesome, just great. Thank you. I was going to move to Japan, teach, live out my life amongst the sakura and the otakus of Osaka. Not a bad plan. When my company went bottoms up, though, I was left with no money, no time, and dwindling choice. It had been in my room in the dark while my mind reeled and spun, twisting with the overwhelming dread that my arrow had at last been spent. I grew up in the New Hampshire countryside, the implication itself a vicious circle. To move away, one needed money. To earn money, one needed to find work. Work that simply did not exist in such a capacity that one could save enough to leave. Getting trapped there would guarantee an end of sorts. I'd be trapped in the loop of the daily grind until my soul itself wore away to dust. Music lends me a certain measure of strength, a tempo, a rhythm with which I can find balance. Perhaps it was fate then that in those desperate moments the theme song from Metal Gear came on my playlist, a highly military affair with long epic notes that draw out a measure of pride and focus. My family was military, has been for hundreds of years, nearly unbroken. A moment of clarity broke through the silence left by those final notes, a new life, one I'd never considered. I called the recruiter the next day. I signed up the one after that. Today the world has gone to hell. I may be ferocious, tenacious, and still desperate. A single soldier will never change the course of the world, and yet, as I look into the city where people suffer, I pray to whatever gods exist that I will, at least, have the strength to change the course of their lives. 
I am very happy, by the way, I didn't join the military. I am definitely a red shirt. I doubt I would have lasted through training. <laughs> okay. That being said, uh, Just Great wants to share, so please, my friend, go ahead, share what you've done. I'd love to read it. Well, thank you. Yeah, I wouldn't have lasted a single day. <laughs> or with my luck, they'd have, they'd have sent me off to go fight penguins or something. Today, I'm feeling great. I've got my 16-shot espresso from Starbucks and about to head in the office for the business meeting. Sure, I went to business school like everyone else, and it had its challenges to finding a job, since almost everyone I know has a business degree. I like to think I'm a cut above the competition, since my grades were above average. I even started investing. I really hope my Facebook and Apple stock do well this year. I'm about 100 k in debt. I know that story. <laughs> But the good news is, I just got a great deal on a new house and a brand new 2016 Mustang convertible. I'm super stoked. Also, can't wait till after work. The bros are meeting tonight for our Fantasy Football League tournament. Maybe I should grab a case of beer on my way to work. Gonna get plastered this weekend. <laughs> Sounds like a very classic choice, just great. I wonder what was the catalyst? What changed? Excellent. <laughs> I'm very curious, like, where the story would, uh, would shift. Um, like, what kind of... And that's okay. It's good. It, you know, we've never really considered. And yes, uh, as Easy Busy pointed out, I do like that 16-shot espresso from Starbucks. That is a that's a great description, and I think it sums up your story uh, really well. It tells me what's going to happen. <laughs> Only 16 shots? I admit, I'd drink it. Even if it did kill me, I'd die happy and caffeinated. That being said, how about Easy Busy? Did you happen to do anything? No, she looks really guilty. That's all right. <laughs> Die happy. Well, she's out there. YOLO. YOLO! That's the word I was trying to think of the other night. For whatever reason, I was trying to remember the, the kind of silly expression that uh, was popular a couple of years ago that you only drink it once. Hey, hey, Silent Willow. Uh, yeah, I'm relatively new to the writing community here. Um, what we're doing here is a kind of writing cooperative um, for my graduate capstone project. Um, what we're doing every day, we're going to meet together and choose a few different writing prompts, whether that's by way of story dice like these or by using a few different prompts from the internet or prompts that I've written. Uh, we usually take about 10 or 15 minutes to share, uh, to write together, and then afterwards we share what we've written. Well, thank you, Silent. Um, I hope uh, by chance, uh, maybe tomorrow or some other time, that you're able to join us at the beginning of the stream and do a little bit of writing with us, share what you've written. Um, the main goal that I'm working on is to build a kind of wide-reaching and interactive writing community. Instead of just me writing, uh, I really want people to come together, write every day, and develop themselves as writers. Um, that being said, for today, we're almost out of time. That's awesome. I will be sure to follow you as well. Um, I'll drop into your stream from time to time and uh, hang out with you. Um, what kind of writing do you do? I've done a little bit of novel writing on Twitter.
Twitch has some practice and some development. And later in the future, I'd like to also develop that. But for now, the main goal is just to get a little bit of work done every day. Uh, even if you write just two or three sentences, I think that's important for developing yourself as a writer. And I hope to expand from here, but unfortunately I can really only stream like an hour every day because I'm just a crazy busy person um, because of my work schedule and life schedule, but um, awesome. Very cool. I, I'm a huge fantasy fan, poetry as well, but uh, I'm much more into, into fantasy. And that's okay too, Nemo. Um, here's the thing. Uh, when, I, when I entered college, I wanted to be a creative writer. My professor, he kind of told me, well, in addition to being a creative writer, you probably also want to eat food every day. So how about learning technical writing? That That's what most of my training is in, is in things like resumes and instruction manuals and, and this kind of stuff, which has been pretty lucrative. I've, I've made some good money doing technical editing and, and that kind of thing. I much prefer teaching, but... Um, but, you know, anybody can pick up a pen and start writing. It's a matter of doing it every day, and that's how you get better. Talent be damned, everything else, it doesn't matter. It, it's, it's more about practice and development. That's awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm a big sci-fi guy, too, so uh, I really hope I get a chance to read some of your stuff in the future, Silent Willow. Same, Nemo. I hope I get to hear some of your music in the future. Um, all of that being said, just great. Thank you so much for sharing for today. Uh, Nemo and Silent Willow, thank you for coming and joining me. Uh, Easy Busy's out there too. I really appreciate her coming in. Uh, we will go ahead and wrap up the stream for today. I've got some other work I need to get moving on. Uh, I'll be back here tomorrow, same time, same place. From next week, we're going to have to shift the stream time back an hour. Uh, the reason being that America uses daylight savings time. Um, Korea does not. So my I still have the same... Okay, awesome. Thank you for the follow. I'll be sure to follow you back, Silent. Thank you. Um, yeah, Korea doesn't, uh, doesn't follow daylight savings time. So my time's going to be static, but America is going to shift back an hour, which uh, causes a little bit of complication, but we'll get it figured out. And thank you, Just Great. Um, you know, practice is everything, and I'm so happy to have you here. It, it's a big honor to have people come hang out, follow my prompts or follow our prompts, and work together. So thank you. Um, have a fantastic evening, everybody. Happy Halloween. Don't have too much fun. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you soon.